Hello friends, welcome back to another video of Automation Testing Insider. So today I'm going to talk about an important topic in software testing that is defect triage. So you might have heard the term defect triage meeting many a times. So in this particular video, I'm going to talk about what do you mean by defect triage, what is defect triage meeting, why do we need defect triage and what is the process of defect triage and who are all the participants uh, of defect triage meeting and at last I'll talk about the outcome of defect triage. So let's get started. So let's talk about the definition of defect triage first. What do, you, what do you mean by defect triage? But before I start the definition of defect triage, let's understand the meaning of this word called triage. What is the meaning of this word triage? So in simple words, I would say to decide something, to decide the order is called triage or I would say to short it out something or shorting is nothing but triage. So these are simple definition or simple meaning of the word triage. Now what is the definition of defect triage? Defect triage is the process to prioritize the defects based on its severity, its severity, its priority, risk involvement in the defect with the defect and last one is frequency. So these are the four factors guys. Defect triage is the process to prioritize. Basically in defect triage we prioritize the defects based on its severity. Like how bad the defect is. We have already spoken about severity and priority in previous video. So please go and watch that video if you haven't watched uh, the related to severity and priority. So basically it talks about the severity of the defect like uh, to de decide the priority uh, to decide to prioritize the defects we used to talk about its severity because we used to decide the severity while logging the defect right so we used to talk about in defect triage what is the how, how severe it is like uh, uh, how bad the defect is is called the severity like how does it impact to the uh, to the functionality right so that is severity how important uh, what is the importance of the defect is called the priority like how soon it should be fixed is called the priority risk involvement is nothing but the what is the what are the project risk or what are the business related risk involvement uh, with the particular defect and frequency is nothing but the occurrence so these are the four factors we used to discuss to decide the to prioritize the defect uh, prioritize the defects during the defect triage and why do we need defect triage right and uh, uh, what is defect triage meeting so to evaluate the process to go about the defect triage process we used to conduct a meeting called defect triage meeting now uh, one question comes in your mind why do we need defect triage why do we need defect triage or defect triage meeting so the first thing is to prioritize the defect that is simple thing right we used to decide the pro uh, we have to decide the prioritize of the defect so that's why we used to go about this defect triage meeting another point is uh, sometimes we have very less time very less time to fix the defects before the release and we have more number of more number of open defects open defects so that's the reason we used to conduct this defect triage meeting so this is the reason guys we used to go for a defect triage meeting now let's talk about what is the process of defect triage or what is the process of defect triage meeting so basically there are three stages in defect triage we uh, firstly we decide uh, we review the defect defect review and the second thing is defect assessment and at last defect assignment so what do you, what do you mean by defect review so first of all we review all those defects all those open defects and then assess the defects based on uh, we'll discuss about the root cause of the defect so there are few things like root cause of the defect second thing is the complexity 
complexity like uh, how complex it is like technic technicalities of the defect we used to discuss and the third thing is business impact business impact how does it impacts to the business of the uh, to the business right so these are the three things which we discuss during the assessment of the defect to decide the prioritize right so we have to discuss about all these points like root cause of the defect the complexity whether we can fix on time or not and then business impact how does it uh, it impacts to the business if it is very important then we have to give a higher priority to the defect and last thing is defect assignment we have to assign the defect to particular developer uh, okay particular team or particular developer to uh, fix that defect so these are the three stages of defect triage defect review defect assessment and defect assignment now let's talk about who are all the participants of defect triage meeting so in defect triage generally we have we have project manager project manager and then we have uh, technical team lead uh, development team lead we can say team lead tl development team lead and then we have uh, uh, test manager or test lead so these are the participants guys and some optional and one more business analyst so these are the participants of uh, defect triage meeting or optional are uh, development team and testing team testing team so in in many companies they used to conduct uh, defect triage with uh, development team and testing team they involve these members as well but generally uh, it should conduct uh, like in general process we have project manager and the development manager uh, sorry devel uh, devel development lead test lead and business analyst so these are the participants of defect triage meeting now let's talk about what is the outcome of defect triage meeting outcome of defect triage meeting so basically uh, when we have gone through the defect trash, so we used to have the following information. The outcome, I would say, defects are identified, right? All the open open defects, open defects are identified. Identified. Second thing is severity and priority are decided. Severity and priority are decided. Third thing is assignment. Uh, or assigned assigned to particular developer and uh, status what is the current status of the defect and what is the resolution date that is important date of resolution date of resolution is important and then time taken to resolve the defect or how much time it will take right so time for fixing the defects defects and last time taken to fix the defect so these are the outcome of defect triage meeting guys so this is all about defect triage so let's talk about i have written some of the uh, other points as well like some de simple definition but like uh, i would say the recap of defect triage Defect triage is the process to prioritize the defects based on severity, risk, frequency of occurrence, which we have discussed about. If more number of open defects and less time for fixing, a meeting is conducted by project manager, developers, tester and business user to identify the defect, which are possible to fix and which are not. Okay, So this is the main idea behind uh, a defect triage meeting. During the defect triage meeting, each defect is analyzed to see whether right priority and severity are assigned to it. Priorities priorities are rearranged if needed. So generally, right? I mean, uh, when we log the defect, then we used to de decide the severity and priority. But it should be correctly assigned during the defect triage meeting. 
so these are the uh, different uh, points i wanted to discuss about defectorized meeting guys so let me know if you have any questions comment your questions if you have any and please like and share this video and if you are new to this channel then please subscribe to this channel thank you so much have a nice day bye bye